Hello from Merchant's Garden. Here's a guide to help you with your USDA GAAP audit. What to expect on your USDA GAAP audit. In order to schedule an audit, contact your local USDA AMS agency and request a GAAP audit. It is a typical two to three week lead time to perform the audit. For the Farm Review GAAP certification, there are six sections and one general section. The general section includes implementation of a food safety program, traceability, work health, and hygiene. The farm review section includes water usage, sewage treatment, animals, wildlife, livestock, animal-based soil amendments, and municipal biosolids, soils, traceability. In order to receive certification, a farm needs to score 80% or higher. Points of 5, 10, 15, or no partial points are received for each section. If a section does not apply, a non-applicable will be received. Following the audit, the farm will receive their score within 7 business days. The farm will incur a certification fee charge of $108 per hour. This is for the auditor's time conducting the audit, travel time, and preparatory time. Here are a few simple guidelines to help you be successful. Number one, start with great record keeping. Just keeping proper paperwork can earn you as much as 65 to 85% of the points you need to pass a particular section of the audit. Number two, traceability. Traceability is the ability to link a product to its origin. In the event that microbiological chemical or physical contamination is discovered in your crops, it is of the utmost importance to remove the implicated product from further distribution as quickly as possible. A traceability program allows a farm to easily identify any other products harvested from the same field on the same day that also may have been contaminated and that therefore should be removed from the market. Number three, water. Water issues can cost you points in the general section, farm review, and field harvest sections of the GAP audit. Therefore, it is essential to complete your agricultural and drinking water test at the appropriate intervals. Keep records in your food safety manual and conduct environmental assessments of your water source periodically to determine any new contamination routes. Number four, animals. Domestic and wildlife animals in crop production and packing areas can serve as a potential source of contamination. Since animals are in contact with soil, manure, and water, they are at risk for picking up contaminants from these sources. Wild and domestic animals can carry pathogens in their feces. Therefore, keeping wild and domestic animals and their feces out of your field and packing area is a significant focus of a USDA GAP audit. Number five, sanitizing and cleaning. Any surface that comes in contact with fresh fruits and vegetables may be a potential source of contamination. All surfaces, including those used during harvest, washing, packing, storage, transport, and display should be properly sanitized after each use. Establishing a regular and thorough cleaning routine for all food contact services contributes to the reduction of potential contamination sources. Here are five bonus tips for success. Test your water and keep good records. Be able to trace your product from seed to consumer. Flush your toilet paper down the toilet. Post signs to require hand washing and wash your hands. Protect your crops as best as you can from animals. Thank you and we wish you best of luck on your audit. Watch out for my helpful tips on receiving your USDA GAP certifications. Thanks from Merchant's Garden.